Tradition, comradeship. I don't have any cleats. Cold. Usually cold. Turgid. Weather. Frigid. Competitive. Let's play some football. Goofy, silly, dangerous. Competition. The other team always seems to win. Friends. Just fun. Fun. <sighs> Depressing. And yet exhilarating. He's wily. <laughs> the uh, Turkey Bowl was a game that my dad started playing in in 1974. The first game I played in was in 1974. Uh, and actually the game had started about 10 or 11 years before that. I started in the 70s playing alongside David Zapecki, who's now, I think, 93 years old. And it's been a tradition ever since then. Since 1990, I want you know, the early 90s, I've been a part of every single Turkey Bowl except one. I've been in the, um, in the Turkey Bowl for about 20 years. I was young and we started, and uh, now I'm not young anymore. It's uh, one of those traditions that just kind of makes the year. As my mother would tell you, you know, I started showing up when I was five, six, seven years old. Oh, when our children were very, very little, I would stroll them down to watch. And so it started 10 years ago this year uh, to be less about my father's generation and more about uh, the people I played high school football with and against. When you're younger and you're more competitive and winning and losing does mean a lot to you, uh, you know, you, you, you probably think about it more. The other team always seems to win because we've had these god awful jerseys for the last few years. I, you know, the last 10 or 15 years, I couldn't tell you from year to year who won, who lost. It, it's about the guys and, and having fun and getting together. That's, uh, that's the real beauty of it. Tip drill! They want play action! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Tip drill! Hey! Ah! Incomplete! That's a catch hey, Tip drill! That's a oh, incomplete! Oh, that's a catch and have control! And you you got anything other than that? Uh, so I'm put, you know, as my dad reaches 40, 40 turkey bulls next year, I'm at least up to what I want to say at least 20, um, which is a great number, and I hope to see as many as my father, and I can't wait till I hit 40 turkey bulls as well. And at 59 years old, my dad is still <laughs> somehow pulling it together and grabbing six, seven passes a game, scoring touchdowns. I, I look at him every year as he continues to do that and just go, I hope to hell that in 30 years I can walk down to the game to watch, much less play at the level that he plays at right now. What I know is that as long as I've known him, I've never seen him on Thanksgiving morning. He's off playing football, and every year I worry that he's not going to come back walking upright. But he usually does, and then he falls asleep. In the last 40 years, uh, I've played in 37 of the uh, turkey bowls that have been held. I, I did miss uh, three of them on years when we were out of town, but uh, it's been a lot of fun over the years. Well, I, you know, he's been doing it for 39 years now and has never come home injured. I've been playing for almost 20 years, never come home injured. I mean, I tried. Believe me, we are good and sore for a number of days after the turkey bowl, but it's worth it. MVP! MVP! My dad, my dad having played now for 40 years, or I should say 39 next year will be his 40th, 
40th anniversary, not necessarily of you know his 40th game, but pretty darn close, um, will be the first year his grandchild will have the opportunity to not at least play, but be there with him. And uh, we're hoping that my dad can uh, make it a couple more years to make sure that he finishes out his turkey bowl with, uh, with his first grandson. We could not be more excited for Shannon and Carl and the next generation of within our own family, the Zupakis, and we are not surprised by my father's proclamation that he's going to be playing in the Turkey Bowl until he can play in one with his grandson. Uh, hopefully this will not be the only grandson uh, or only grandchild. Hopefully there will be many uh, to come for them over the, the next few years. <laughs> Maybe they just are, are afraid of what, if they were to unleash me every single year, I mean, just who knows what, where this game would really go. See, I've never really had a lot of great plays because I usually play without my glasses on and I can't see anything and so I usually play center and I block people, but every once in a while they throw the ball to me because I'm the outlet receiver. So I, I, I usually catch it, like this year they threw the ball to me uh, three times and I caught it three times, so I figure that's pretty good. I, I have a feeling that 10, 15, 20 years from now, I will be seeing the same guys uh, at the same place, at the same time, every Thanksgiving morning. And to me, that's exactly how it should be. There's, there's no planning. You know, nobody gets on the phone a week before and calls everybody and says, uh, hey, you're going to be there. It's just you know, show up at this place uh, at this time on Thanksgiving morning and there'll be a game. It's a guaranteed every single year, I know I'm gonna see the same guys. I don't see them the other 364 days a year. I don't have to talk to them. I don't have to check in with them. I know they're gonna be there on Thanksgiving morning and it's the best possible way to start my favorite holiday. See you, see you next, next year on Thanksgiving morning, 9 a.m. behind Deer Creek Elementary School. We'll be there ready to play. Come and join us. Give me a couple minutes here. I got a. Ooh, yeah, sorry, I didn't. Got, uh, got some business I need to take care of. Okay.